Hello programmers, Spide is back with one another video. In previous video, we have seen about a UPEI tool and then we also built a telegram chatbot and whatsapp chatbot we using chat gpt now in today's video we are going to explore about a open ai new model which is a dell e2 that can help you to generate images so based on what is this dell e2 model let me show you the official documentation of open ai <coughs> so what it is doing you just need to provide your prompt and based on that it will generate the images based on whatever prompt that you have given right so now what we are going to do is we are going to create a same python web application for that and that will provide a uh, user to give the prompt you can see here you user need to provide a prompt user need to provide the image size and based on that it will generate the uh, prompted image and user can also download this image as well so this is a very small python application that we are going to build so without wasting time let's get started so already we have seen what is dell e2 model it is from open ai even in azure cloud you can use that model in free but if you are going to use open ai you need to pay some amount of for each and every image generation based on the tokens so if you want to follow this with me you will get charged so what you need to have you just need to have account in open ai and you should have the generated api key for your uh, purpose then you can access this service okay so i assume that you have the api key now the second step is uh, you can see your api key will look something look like this yes i am showing you but no worries after tutorial i will delete it but you should not expose your key publicly okay so let's see what could be the our flow of uh, video so the explanation we have seen now we need to have some library that should be installed the third one is code explanation fourth we will run this app in local and fifth we will deploy this application in ec2 so i'm directly going into the my id the currently application is running i'm just making it stop now we need to see what is actual requirement of our application so we need to have open ai python packet second is streamlit so just you need to mention this as requirement.txt you can install via pp store requirement.txt i'm not showing you that step it's very easy you can do install okay so after the installation your code would be like very simple you can see it's like, like 70 lines even if i'm going to remove all the css it, it would be under in 15. you need to import all the necessary packages the first one is streamlit open ai os to get the environment variables and base 64 because we are handling the image so we need first of all we need to define open ai api key so open ai dot api key os dot environment dot get so we need to set this value in our environment variable because we can't give it statically in code even you you can do that but at, as per the privacy is concerned you do, should not do that now st dot page config you just need to give some the random name that i have given so now for some uh, some of the buttons i am providing my custom css so css it's simple like dot download button see the when i'm going to the my screen you can see this download button so for this download button i have given the custom css like background color padding border cursor so that i have given and hover effect i also given if i'm going on this hover it will like do gives the some hover effect so that css i will define first now st dot title title would be simple application title of my page now prompt prompt is something that we can ask to user to enter so we can use a text area here because the prompt can be longer okay and height is given five so you can see the height and prompt here okay i'm just running this application okay and now size option let me refresh this you can see this is the prompt here user can enter anything and now for size selection this api this model support three size 256 256 512 and 1024 okay so that we need to provide as a list and we are choosing the select box now i have just given the one button which is st dot button c magic so what it will do open ai dot image dot create so what we are doing is we are calling the open ai dot image dot create so in background it's using the dell e2 model to get the image generated so you need to provide the prompt n is equal to number of image n is equal to one because as of now i want only one image it can return the multiple output uh, i think the maximum length is 10 the size is uh, selected size which is chosen by the user 
and the response format should be JSON. So from JSON, we can uh, easily get it read through it and generate the image. So what uh, this re this response will return the prediction, or like whatever the image, pixels and other information. Okay. So now if I am getting some response, like if, if response is equal to data, then what I will do? Now, if you understand image concepts theory, it will be written as a, some binary codex like base64. So we need to, it will be in encoded format. We need to decode it. So that's why we are using base64 here first. Now base64, we are decoding whatever response that we got. So it will be in the response data b 64 JSON. So you can say b 64 JSON that uh, response format that what we expected and that we got. So now we are reading the image data. And now we are displaying whatever image that we got through the prediction. So st dot image image data mm, use column width is equal to true. So it will be in responsive state. So if I'm opening this application in some small devices, so you can see the uh, application is responsive. Let me open on some small devices. So whatever images that I'm generating, it would be uh, very uh, responsive. See, I'm just f I'm writing one uh, prompt to bull fighting you need to click on see magic and you can see the image is responsive so in your mobile application image will look like this even if you, if you are clicking on download button it will download the image you can see you can see because I have chosen a 256 size if you want you can choose bigger one as well so we have created our responsive image now we need to give the download button as well so for download button what we need to do once again we need to encode the format see for displaying we we have already decoded the format right but again we need to encode whatever response that we get okay so what we need to do we need to use uh, some href class so what href would be simple you need to give some link you can see if you don't know what is href so it is just like downloading format so you are providing your data image png base 64 so your whatever data that is generated from open ai that same data we are giving to user but when when someone click on download button so if i'm going to click on this download button it will give me the data and my browser automatically will create the image but how browser will recognize ki this is image because we have in here set image slash png because browser need to know what kind of format is this so this request automatically browser will handle so that's why we have created this href and we have given this markdown like this href in markdown okay but due to some reason if response is not generated like you are writing some uh, prompt which is not possible to draw okay which is not possible to predict so it will return nothing so in this case it will return st dot warning no image generated okay but there is some exception like your key is wrong or maybe might be some other other exception that can be happen so for that i have given the exception handling which is st dot error dot a yeah so that's how my application should be run uh, now you need to have the see you need to have the api key that should be given in your environment variable so what you can do you need to go to api keys whatever you have copy this api key what you need to write here export uh, open ai api key and then whatever key you have you just need to paste here and enter but in my case i already have okay now my application is already running but i want this application should be deployed in user like uh, from anyone can access it through the internet how i need to do so for that uh, what i need to do i need to go into my aws console i am deploying the same application in my ec2 so i need to go into the ec2 so make sure you have the account created in aws and this will uh, like first free tire you will get for ec2 so you don't will be charged as much but you need to give a credit card information right so i'm going to create a new instance uh, i'm giving it name which should be test server uh, i'm more preferable with ubuntu uh, 20.0 for i like always uh, instance type it will automatically give as a t2.micro you can see which is free tire eligible 
now you need to uh, choose a p key pair so i already have this key pair let me check is it to api key okay it should be kushal is it to okay i need to change it i don't want to create key many times so i already have this key uh, vpc all information you need to whatever it is default but you need to make sure you click on these two ticks and other thing is fine just click on launch instance it will take hardly two minutes to launch the instance so as per our flow uh, we have seen the app code explanation library installation model explanation and we check that our application working fine in local so we already now have created ec2 so you can see the state is running click on this ec2 we need to connect with this ec2 uh, copy this uh, ssh command go to the terminal where uh, your key is located click on open uh, wait uh, let me zoom it first uh, like for all of you guys it should be visible yeah paste and it is asking me to connect yes i am connected to my ec2 uh first let's always use the super user sudo su uh, the first command always should be apt update so what it will do it will update the necessary packages uh my packages are updated and now i need to have check first ki python is there or not i'm just writing python 3 yes 3.8 is available here just let me exit it from here uh, let's check pip is there obviously pip will be not there not here we need to install pip how we can do this apt install python 3 slash pip uh, it will ask you for a prompt just mention why it will take hardly one minute to install a pip so now pip is update uh, available in my c2 here let's check pip yeah pip is working now i need to have this code it should be there in my uh, ec2 so what i can do i can directly git clone uh, my code from my repository so git uh, clone uh, paste this yeah so let's check my code is there uh, cat app dot pi yes now we need to install all the requirements here first okay so what i need to do python 3 dash m p install dash r requirement dot txt so it will install whatever requirements we have uh, now my requirements are installed now we need to set up api key first in our environment so export uh, which should be open ai uh, api slash key uh, let me check validate this yeah open ai api key yes this is right is equal to i already have copied my api key click on paste enter so now it is set in our my environment variable okay so let's run our application first uh, let me start from python 3 test m stream lead uh, run app dot py uh, but I need to run this on ET server, so which should be server dot port eight zero eight zero. So you need to write server dot port is equal to eight zero eight zero, and check whether it is running or not. So you need to again go to your EC two. Uh, you need to open your public IPv4. Okay, it's not running. I need to figure it out why it's not running. Okay, I think I missed this. Yeah, it should not be 8080, it should be 80. Okay, my application is running, but I need to check whether my API key is set up or not. Uh, I'm just writing one prompt to car accident I think my API is key set up successfully because it is taking time otherwise in first second you will get the error of wrong API key yeah the generated image is yeah it's good 
now let's check with the higher resolution uh, let's write robot fighting so based on this all prompt i am getting charges see i need to pay whatever things that i am doing here so guys make sure you guys are subscribing this youtube channel and like and share this video with your friends uh, the quality is nice but instead of look like yeah yeah i think they are fighting the but robot standard is too weird anyway this is looking good let's move, give it a more one more try indian street food let's see what it is generating yeah it's more look like yeah it generated a good image i can see some roti chapati and yeah it's good uh, let's try our gujarati special dish which is uh, jalebi let's see it is working or not so when you when you are done with this you will you know it is very fun moment to play with this yeah it's good it's you can see it generated a good image so you can see the jalebi is also like generated image is very good so anyway uh, otherwise i will be like full time playing here okay so now our task is done as per uh, whatever flow that we have given okay but instead of this now if i'm going to leave this terminal this application will uh, like out of the scope because when you are leaving the terminal the service will be closed so instead of this you just need to mention no hub command before whatever you have mentioned and then click on run and then now even you are leaving your terminal still your application will be running okay so if i'm going to close this terminal see still my application will be running because now it is running my application ec2 in ec2 as a service okay uh, but i need to now how to stop this application so you need to go into the terminal click ec2 instance once again connect because see your application is running you need to stop it otherwise like how you can stop it uh, just write command which is uh, let me bigger the screen first the command is ps dot ef ps dash ef so it will return all the processes and you need to find which is the command so python 3 stimulate the process id is 7309 so just write kill 7309 and now if i'm go going to access this application because it will not work because the application is already killed okay so make sure that how you can close your application from ec2 otherwise you will in get the lots of incur the charges and um, yeah let me delete the keys as well so i'm revoking this key so no one can use you are even if you have seen this key okay and make sure ki you delete all the ec2 instance that you have created for this tutorial otherwise you will get a huge cost so i am just deleting this ec2 instance as well okay so that that clean up things i will do later so guys if you like this video just like it share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe machine learning up youtube channel so guys see you in the next one